Anything else, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, out of respect for the uh, the performers, uh, can you guys shut off your phones? All right, just sh shut them all off uh, completely. Uh, I've checked in medical journals; you will survive for an hour if your phones are off. I promise. You. All right. Um, okay. So, welcome. The play is called uh, Selfie. All right. It's a Jordy production. Jordy, a theater uh, group based in Montreal. And what the play is about in general is really there are three characters, three people. There's Emma, there's Lily, and Chris. 
and Lily and Chris are brother and sister. <coughs> if I make a mistake, just sort of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lily and Chris are brother and sister, and Emma spent the summer in Vancouver. She's coming back to uh, start the, uh, the school year. There's secondary five. Chris is a bit older. And uh, Emma has a crush on Chris. There's a party because the parents are away. Big surprise. Things happen. And a selfie at one point gets taken. A picture gets taken with repercussions. And it's how they deal with that. How they deal with uh, being, you know, somebody takes a picture of you without your consent. Somebody, uh, things happen without your consent. You're not sure if you said yes to certain things or not. And uh, yeah, everything that goes with that. Okay, um, and yeah, uh, it, it plays about 50 minutes, and then there's a, a question and answer section after the uh, after the play. So everything should be done by uh, by about noon. And like I said, one more time for the new students who just just arrived, if you guys could shut off your phones, please, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm sure the actors would as well. Okay, we'll just uh, wait one more minute, maybe let everybody else uh, try and find a spot here and there. Uh, I think we can, but I'm, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, good luck on that Wow, okay. There's one spot over here. Yeah, there's, there's a spot, spot here, there. guys. And one up there, one up there. Wow. All right. There are spots up here. Yep. Is that reserved for something? sharing our story to tell you tradition on the land of the Inu people. So thank you very much for inviting us here and enjoy the show. Loves the Snapchat test. She says you can tell everything you need to know about someone by what they share and with who. What do they put out there? What do they want people to see? What do they want to hide? Take Emma. 
Lily. Chris. Well, well, Emma used to always make a goofy face in pictures. Chris doesn't have to take selfies because there's always someone taking a pic of him. I'm pretty sure Lily's never posted something without a filter. Look, in every pic she's trying to hide. He's on here like 20 times a day, even if he never posts something himself. Yeah, every photo is like, that's the stupid face she makes when she's jacking the bathroom mirror for an hour every morning. But this summer, she suddenly became a babe. Here's on Damien's, on Maya's, on Tyler's. Mom would kill her if she saw this one. Emma 2.0. But it feels like something's missing. The guys on my team love her. Is she still the same on the inside? What does he have to say for himself? Well, do they actually know her? So that's Emma. Lily. Chris. And if that's all you saw, what would you think? I don't know why he always has to put on a show. I don't know why she suddenly changed. I don't know why she feels like she can't always be herself. The thing is, in the end, it doesn't matter who you really are. What matters is what everyone else gets to see. Right? Right? Right. <laughs> your home. I almost died. What? How? I was so bored this summer, I literally died. But anyway, welcome home. Oh my god, have you become like a Vancouverite? Do you like hug trees? Do you make your own granola? Oh my god, stop. When I say green doubt, do you know what I'm actually referring to? Oh, how I missed you, Lily. You missed me? Good, I missed you. But like, seriously, what happened? Look at your dress, your shoes. I am not worthy. Uh, the shopping was surprisingly amazing out there. It was really nice to see my grandma. Yeah, yeah, you're a perfect granddaughter, I get it. Dude, we thought she was gonna die, that's why we went. Yeah, but then she was fine. And I mostly saw you, like, hanging out with people and posting beach selfies. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. My cousins are cool. So are their friends. So, you, like, went out every night? Oh my god, emergency. Did you make, like, newer, cooler West Coast friends? No, Lily, you're irreplaceable. <laughs> I mean, mostly. Mostly? <laughs> I'm kidding. <sighs> What about this? Oh, right. Uh, one night there was this beach bonfire. There's this kind of hidden place you can have a huge fire without getting shut down by the cops. It was like a full moon thing. It was pretty cool. Oh my god, that is the stuff of dreams. Dreams, I tell you. Such a good summer. But, but, but like, you're glad to be back, right? Of course I am. Okay, good. Phew, I was worried you were like, too cool for me now. Never. Because like, let's be real. This is some major makeover shit. What? Yeah, dude, no more baggy t-shirts. They're wearing ankle boots. Ankle boots! I wasn't that bad before. It's more like one of those movies where the girl takes off her glasses. And suddenly she's a babe. Yes, yes, I'm familiar. But I loved you all along. <laughs> but like, no summer romance? Seriously? Not really. I didn't believe you at first when you told me that. Why wouldn't you believe me? Because, A, I wondered if you were actually out banging dudes all summer, but just too cool to confess the amazing details of your love affairs to me. But also, B, it seemed impossible that you would go to, like, a different city all summer and not meet some, like, hipster guy named Jasper. Jasper? And, like, walk through the forest writing lo-fi indie music together. You've really thought about this. But then I also considered out to sea that you remained captivatingly flirty yet distant in the hopes for a reunion with someone special back home. What are you talking about? Nothing. Uh, anyway, how was your summer? Um, you already know because I texted you like every minute of my boring day. <sighs> Being a lifeguard is the worst. Wait, you were texting while lifeguarding? Well, yeah, until some lady complained. <laughs> You're the worst. What? I can watch people's dumb kids and text at the same time? I'm a multitasker. You haven't changed. This is a momentous occasion. Let's take a pic. Reunited and it feels so good. I have taught you well. Um, not our best. Let's take another one. It's fine. No. Uh, yeah, cool. I'll throw some filters on that shit. Sweet. Uh, shouldn't we go to class? I live on the edge. You're gonna be late on the first day. Oh, carpe diem, bitch. Wait, don't leave me. I am literally going to see you in five minutes. Love you, miss you. Okay, bye. Okay, love you, bye. Hey, Chris. Uh, what? I said, uh, hey. Oh, hey.
Brutal. What? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, thanks for the ride, jerk. Dude, you take forever to get ready, and I'm not waiting around just so you can make me take you to the Starbucks drive-thru. Plus, Mom was all emotional. Classic. And Dad spent like 20 minutes trying to take a photo with his iPad. Ugh. Like, it's not even a big deal. It is a big deal. Grade 12 is like the biggest of deals. And check this out. I'm basically seething with jealousy. Everyone in the entire school is going to forget to write their homework down on your face. Oh, shit. You're going to have so many mustaches and dick strong. Could you just give me that? No, I wanted to face it myself. You're the worst. <laughs> Wait till Mom sees this. She's going to oh, win. Oh, yeah, whatever. Look, anyway, Dad won't take us to see the Bon Jovi concert tonight, so they're driving up to Aunt Laura's and staying the night. Really? Ugh. They're the worst. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bon Jovi's pretty cool for an old dude. You're the old dude here, grade 12. You're basically dead. Don't be a dick, Lo. Anyways, I'm in charge. Ugh, why? Because I'm the favorite. I would argue that, but I don't think I have a strong case. Uh, I'm going to have the team over tonight for some pizza and stuff, okay? It's just going to be chill. Well, can I have some people over? Please, Chris, come on. I'm so excited to see everyone, and I was so lonely all summer, except for my amazing, beloved big brother. You're a monster. I do mean it, though, and you're leaving next year. We're never going to see you again. Oh, come on, Lil, you know that's Don't not true. Don't you? This time next year, you're going to be doing keg stands with hot blonde biology. Okay, hey, that's enough. Hanging Bob Marley posters in your dorm room. And you won't even remember your sister's name. You won't even remember you had a family. Hey, just stop, okay? Oh, sorry. It's just a lot of pressure, you know? And I don't even know if I'm going to get into any programs or anything, so just chill out with the jokes. Okay. Okay, I didn't realize you were having, like, a life crisis about it. I don't know, it. I'm just... whatever. No, I get it. Brad is kind of terrifying. You're going from a school where everyone knows and is unreasonably obsessed with you to a place where you're one of thousands. <laughs> Basically insignificant and unknown. Wow, thanks for putting it that way. Well, I'm just laughing so I don't literally cry. I'm gonna miss you next year. Really? Yeah, yeah, don't rub it in. But yes, I will. So we just have to make this year memorable. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So it's cool if you don't want to start the year off in deep shit with our parents. We'll be respectful tonight. Nah. No? I got an idea. <laughs> Short skirts, hashtag in the summer, hashtag get laid, hashtag like Hawaii, get it? Yeah, so it's like raining and like 10 degrees out, but who doesn't love a hot Hawaiian theme party? Before we know it, um. Yes! Where's your friend? What's your address? OMG, I'm wearing a bikini. I'm wearing a pineapple. I'm a puke in your bathtub. Best first day of school ever! Can't I just do what I always do? I just want to spend the party eating chips and making bitchy comments about people's poor behavior. Emma, your vibe, you need a drink. Don't be such a pusher. You're the kind of person the counselors warned us about. Yeah, my friendship is a total gateway drug. <laughs> Do we need ice? Go look at the bathtub, you idiot! It's literally full, we're fine! Okay, what is happening with my hair right now? Why is this not working? Ugh, oh, screw it. Look, I know, like, maybe you're, like, bummed about being home. I'm not. I just want us to have fun tonight. I know, I'm just feeling, I don't know, weird. Maybe it's jet lag. Uh-huh. And I, like, haven't been around this many people in so long. Girl, whatever. We're vax relaxed and full of snacks. It's fine. I don't know. Okay, real talk. Can I ask you a question? I'm probably gonna hate this, aren't I? Yeah, maybe. So... Do you like Chris? Uh, and I guess before you answer, I just want to tell you that A, I already know, and B, it's totally okay. Oh, what does that leave me to answer? Just tell me the truth. Uh, I don't know. It's okay, dude. Kind of. Kind of? Yeah, I guess. Ever since that time I went up to the cottage with you guys. That was like a million years ago. If by a million years you mean grade nine, then yeah. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, come on! No, why? Well, first of all, he's your brother and I didn't want to be creepy. Oh my god, not creepy! I'd much rather be you than the usual skanks who are into him. There is stuff written on the bathroom walls of that school that I can never unsee. Right. Exactly, though. That's the thing. He's like, Chris, I just can't ever really see him being into someone like me. Yeah, the, like, school version of Chris, the, like, actual Chris and actual Emma. Well, you actually know him. At school, he's a different person. Yeah, I get it. Those girls he dates, he doesn't stick with them because he can't keep up that act. Everyone thinks he's a super bro, but he's I think we not. need chips! Then go buy some chips, you loser! See? But then once people get here, he's gonna be all like, 
hey, bruh, and then like people will think he's cool, which he is not. Right, I guess what I'm trying to say is no one thinks I'm cool. People at school only mostly see me as Lily's friend. I think everyone still sees me as like chunky, awkward girl from grade six, and I kind of think he does too. Well, I happen to know for a fact that that is not true. But anyway, like, when I saw those pics of you in Vancouver, I was like, yes, that's my girl. That's my amazing, smart, beautiful friend. I've known you were amazing all along, but now I feel like you're starting to realize it too. You've had your, like, glasses off, hair out of the bun moment. Now it's time to let everyone else see what I see. You gotta just, like, make your entrance where everyone's like, whoa, who's that? Thanks, Lily. <laughs> you're welcome. Now I demand you shut up and take a shot immediately. <laughs> okay, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. That's my girl. Now don't come out of this room until you're looking like a Kardashian. Only my Insta followers? Dude, that's like thousands of people. I mean, like half of those people are middle-aged creepers I don't know, but yeah, the other half is basically the whole school. Jeez. You shall live forever in legend! Yeah, hopefully for the right reasons. It's amazing. If you believe these girlfriends showed up wearing sundresses. We put on sunscreen so we smell like the beach. Tyler brings out a 40 of vodka. Shut! And off we go. You okay? <laughs> no way. If the Poe comes, I'm sending them right to you. Because you're the favorite, you're right? The worst. And the is. Why is it so hot in here? I turn up the heat so it feels like it's still hot outside. I open the door and it's a wall of heat and noise and bare skin. Oh my god, Emma. There's gotta be a hundred people here now. You're a freaking babe. Now take a shot with me. I think I'm good for now. Are we doing this or are we doing this? What's up, bruh? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Maya is actually wearing a bikini. It's amazing! Yes! The guys from Chris's team are loving it. Oh my god, I love this song. The girls are dancing in the living room. Every window in the house is fogged up. I'm sweating. They're sweating. Everybody's sweating. I love it! I go to the kitchen. I'm so not she brought a pineapple. Oh, it's super hot. Lily is already wasting. Look at your hair. But every guy is looking at her. Those guys, cut that shit out. Shut! Woo! And I think I'm here, he's here. This time things are gonna be different. It's uh, so hot. Yeah, it's so uh, hot. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, gotta go by. And all of a sudden, I hit the lights. Everybody's quiet. Is there someone at the door? There's no one at the door. Chris is beside me. Emma's right beside me. My arm brushes his. He's right there. And he just grabs my hand. It's dark and everyone's quiet. The girls are giggling. And we're just here. Together. Hey. Oh, hey. Are you, uh, having fun? And then they kiss? Are you having fun? <laughs> I just asked you that. Sorry. Damn it, Emma. False alarm! Shut the windows, bitches! And the party starts again. Like it's hotter and hotter. The guys are taking off their shirts. Selfie! I don't think I've ever seen everyone this drunk before. But I can't I'm, talk to him. I don't think I've ever been this drunk before. But Shut! I'm... Oh, I need water. I should probably lock my parents' bedroom before anybody. <laughs> oh, nasty! Oh, somebody's already in there. Oh my God, you're kidding me. It's getting intense in here. I stumble to the bathroom to catch my breath. Oh. Emma, Emma, I'm coming in. Wait, I'm. I need to pee. What's wrong? Just give me a second, okay? I feel like I'm going to puke. No! No! You're weaning it no, out! No, I'm not! I'm just... Ugh. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like I try to say things and I just choke. And I just keep saying stupid, nothing words like an idiot. And I wonder if it's better if I don't even try. I just want to go home. Stop it! I don't want to hear you say that, okay? That's enough. Because you're talking about my favorite person in the whole world. You? No, you bitch! I'm talking about you! It makes me sad to hear you say that. 
It makes me sad, Drew, you say that, okay? I like, I, I love you. Oh, I love you too, Lily. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just like really nervous, okay? Because like, I don't want things to change between us because like, you went to Vancouver and like, found yourself in shit. And I just want to throw you this big ass amazing party so you won't forget about me. I never forget about you, Lily. I, I just saw these pics of you across the country and I was like, whoa shit is changing and like maybe we're not gonna be friends forever and I, I like I like freak the fuck out you know because like you're my person and I don't want to be creepy and I don't know why I'm like, you're my person too Lily you don't need to be worried I'm not going anywhere I'm just figuring myself out right now I know I know okay real talk come here mm. come here <laughs> <laughs> look your hair is a large and amazing your boobs look awesome in that dress. And you smell like a fancy drink from Montana's. You are amazing. And I'm not the only one who thinks so, okay? Go talk to Chris. Tonight is the night you're the two best people I know and you're running out of time because he's gonna go away and like... Oh my God, I'm totally not gonna cry in the bathroom right now because that's like literally a cliche, but like, go get what you deserve. You know what to do? Hey, are, are you all right? Uh, yeah, it's just super out of air and first day back. Yeah, it's a lot, I know the feeling. <laughs> Did Lily say something to you? I mean, she said about a billion things, most of which was, yes! <laughs> Never mind. No, 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 what? What? Nothing. What is it? What is it? Nothing. Is there something you want to tell me? Oh, I just thought because you grabbed my hand. Oh! <laughs> I, um... I wait, 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 just hang on a second, okay? Uh, um... I'm gonna use a metaphor, okay? Uh, you know the, the photo on the stupid, um, the thing, the... The, the, the school agenda? Yeah, 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 that photo. <laughs> I know it, like, looks cool and stuff, but, like, I totally remember what I was thinking when that photo was taken. See, when I was in juniors, our, our coach on the seniors team, he'd always, like, I don't know, he'd, like, mess around and stuff, and, and when we were leaving the locker room, he'd, he'd slap us on the back and say, Don't fuck up, you know? And, uh, he was kidding, but I mean, nobody wanted to be the guy to fuck up, you know, and I guess they just always stayed with me, and I, I know that this doesn't make any sense yet, but I, I promise that I have a, I have a, a point. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I think about that every time I step on the field now, and it's like this huge thing, and, and that's what I was thinking when, 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 when the photo was taken. See, it was our last chance to take it home, and I had the ball, and I was like looking up at the goalposts and lining up my shot, but like... I just don't think they would want to use the photo if they knew that's what I was thinking. I mean, it's not very inspiring. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. And I, I guess um, I was just scared to ever say anything to you about how I felt because, like, I don't want to fuck up, you know? You're special, and I am not. I'm so not. And everyone thinks I am, but I don't think that you do. And I guess I was just worried that you would never like me because you know the truth. Does that make any sense? I like you. Okay, cool, cool. Do you want to dance? Oh, uh, like, right here in the hallway? Um, yeah! <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, I am not a great dancer. He's hanging on tight. But I'm doing my best. He smells so good. She smells like the beach. You can really feel that last shot kicking in. She's holding on to me. He has nice arms. Her eyes are closed. The room is spinning, so I lean my head on his shoulder. It's really happening. I like this. You're having fun. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Best. You're the best. <laughs> did you, um, did you want to go somewhere quieter? I grab her hand, I take her to my room, and I close the door. Turn it up! <laughs> down the street. I have my things. I feel awful. My hands are shaking. I feel like maybe I'm still drunk, but the air is cold and I just want to get home. Suddenly my knees buckle and I'm sitting on the pavement. 
Blurry whiteness closes in on my vision, and before I know it, I'm throwing up on the sidewalk by the bus stop. <coughs> heave after heave of vodka and pineapple juice and tequila and white claw and eyeliner and sweat and sunscreen on the sidewalk for everyone to see. Just breathe, I think. Just breathe. Holy shit. The first thing I did was drag myself into the kitchen, make some coffee, put on some tunes, and then just start cleaning up. But there are like a million beer cans on every table and every chair, and obviously a ton on the floor. But there's someone's t-shirt in the freezer, and someone's phone in the sink. Awesome! I mean, it was the best night ever. Legendary. Everyone had a great time. Lily and I are party gods, and that's not even the best part. The best part was Emma. Oh my gosh, what a party! Like, legendary enough to make even you late for school. I like crawled to McDonald's, I got all the coconut water I could carry, and it was basically a miracle cure because I feel like totally fine. P.S. There was no one here this morning. English class is only like random people I don't know and people who don't have snap. Like, it was noticeable. By the way, there's some pretty epic party pics out there. I took some of you, but don't worry, I didn't post them or anything. Oh my god, this reminds me. Chris told me that Tyson actually puked in his shoes and then wore them home. Amazing. What a guy. I mean, did you not have the best time? Are you mad at me? What? You, you didn't text me back this morning and like, oh my god, you are whatever I did, I'm so, so sorry. No! <laughs> oh my god, okay, good. Because I totally do not hold myself responsible for anything I did under the influence of tequila! Oh my god, wait, are you having like a COVID moment? Dude, it's fine, we're all vaccinated and it's all allowed, you gotta just like break the seal. Didn't y'all already like party a bunch this summer? <laughs> hey, dude, you're killing me. How did it go last night with Chris? You guys are a thing? I think so. What do you mean? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Amazing. But like, I haven't talked to him since. Um, <laughs> then talk to him, you weirdo. <laughs> I just, uh... What? I don't remember. <laughs> like, I don't really remember anything. Oh my god, that's hilarious. You guys fully, fully made out. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it, it was kind of gross to watch, but, but cute in theory. I don't remember that at all. Dude, you had like 30 shots. Obviously you're gonna like black out for some of it. Right. What do you remember? Uh, like, people dancing, tequila, your weepy pep talk in the bathroom. La 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 la, you're not reminding me of anything embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, and then I guess talking to Chris, I think. Well, there you go. Just texting, dude. You know, that's kind of how it works. Now that you're a thing. Yeah, I will. I totally will. And you're not going to wimp out? No, of course not. Cool. Oh my god, did I tell you? Maya texted me looking for her bikini. <laughs> hey, I didn't see you at school this morning. You know, I was so hungover, I almost didn't go. I found the pineapple under the couch. I, I had a really amazing time at the party. I mean, I hope you did too. I was so happy yesterday. Hey, uh, maybe you've been busy, but you want to get dinner tonight? You there? I took in Vancouver almost every day. It's the night of the beach bonfire and I'm all dressed up. I finally figured out how to put on fake eyelashes and I'm wearing this beautiful shirt I got on Main Street. It's dark out and there's no flash, but my face is lit up just by all the shimmering lights of the seawall. My hair is blowing softly in the wind and the picture is blurry just a bit because I was walking when I took it. I look at it, at it every day because I think I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something I can't see anymore. Something that was there just for a moment. Or maybe not. I don't know. What's up, girl? 
How much you? Straight up not doing homework. Nice. What's up for you tonight? Probably straight up doing homework. So, is there a reason you're avoiding Chris? What do you mean? It's been like two days since the party and you won't talk to him. I've been busy. Dude, I literally see you every day. I know you're not busy. Fair. Yo. Can I ask you something? Hang on, Chris is texting me. What do you want, old man? Okay. You're a douche. Get off my lawn. You're Satan. <laughs> Uh, anyway, have you talked to Emma? He's asking about you like he has every day since the party. Uh, I just want to know what's up. What do I say? I mean, has said anything to you? No response. Okay, thanks, Emma. Real helpful. Nope. Nothing. Okay, uh, IGGG back to practice. Just let me know what I should do. Okay, seriously, what is up? Can we just talk, like, face to face? Yes, of course. What's, What's going on? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess, guess I'm just, just not good at guy stuff. stuff. Guys, guys are, are not that complicated. Well, well not, not for you. Thanks. thanks. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't, didn't mean it like that. I just, uh, I don't know. I'm just being a weirdo. Well, like, what's the problem? Are, are you just shy about hanging out? I guess so. I mean, we haven't ever just hung out one on one before. Except at the party. <laughs> right. You said Chris and I disappeared for a while. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. Right. Shit, dude, you don't remember that either? I was nervous, so I kept doing shots. It was dumb. Didn't you learn to hold your liquor in Vancouver? Apparently not. So, uh, are you just gonna, like, avoid Chris forever now? No, because I've had to watch you guys staring lovingly at each other for, like, two years now, and I don't. I don't really want to go back to that. Of course not. Then, like, what's the problem? I've just been kind of freaking out because I'm not on birth control or anything. Oh my god, that's why you've been so weird! Well, yeah, oh my god, my excitement over you finally popping your cherry but that is only the exam by, you by being kind of weirded out that you had sex with my brother, but anyway, Emma, it's okay. It's always terrible the first time and it hurts and shit like that, but if you're worried about pregnancy or whatever, just go see your doctor. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> it's not a big deal at all. Sorry you were so worried about it. I wish you just like said something before. Do you want me to go with you to the doctor? No, it's okay. So, uh, are, are you going to be normal with Chris now? Sure. I mean, you don't have to. It's just I thought you guys were like really into each other. I am, like, a lot. You know that. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't awesome the first time. It almost never is. Maybe now you can just move past it. Totally, I want to move past it. Okay, so since we are both straight up not doing homework, why don't you call your doctor and make an appointment? Then, once the ice is broken, you and Chris can do the texting. Because I, I already kind of feel like your mom right now, and I am deaf not arranging a booty call for you. <laughs> sure. Thanks, Lily. Of, of course. course. You know you can tell me anything, right? Of course. Of course. Love you, girl. Love you, too. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 The nights you'll never remember with the people you'll never forget. Okay, so like, I know I'm only in grade 11, but I was volunteering my services for the prom and they said no. I cannot believe it, I can't. Uh, dude, I can. Why would they have someone on the, on the committee that's not in the grad class? Yeah, actually, why would you even want to be on the committee? So I can have a practice run for my prom. Duh! Yeah, for a second I thought you just wanted to help out. How naive, Christopher. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are not allowed to team up on me together now. It's too late. Oh no, I'm supposed to be both of your favorite person at the same time and it's supposed to be great. Just think, Lil. I mean, it's all your fault. I only have my permit. I can only drive one person and guess who I'm gonna pick? This is a literal nightmare. I just want to clarify, you do know what literal actually means, right? <laughs> I figuratively do not care. Yeah, she's smarter than she looks. I hate you both. I'm going to say the world's most embarrassing speech about both of you at your wedding! Okay, awkward, too soon. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just had a super early practice, so I'm kind of tired. Uh, I've got a chem exam I should go study for. I'm a go. <laughs> okay, bye. I'll turn away so you can make out. <laughs> hey, uh, happy studying. Did you want to meet up later? Sure. Uh, bye. Wait, wait.
Nice. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm still totally mad about prom! It's been 68 hours since the party. I've had 13 hours of sleep since then. One hour till my doctor's appointment. I have a million questions to ask. 14 blocks till my doctor's office. 59 minutes left. Breathe. Just breathe. Hi. Hey. What's up? Uh, not much. You look pretty. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, no, I mean, uh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm not good at this whole accepting compliments thing, am I? Well, I think you're great at it. What? Uh, that was a test? A compliment? Oh, right. Uh, well, uh, I fail. Um, I was glad that you wanted to see me. You know, I wanted to see you too, just us. Really? Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to have a conversation with Lily around. <laughs> oh, right. And I just feel like, I don't know, things have been weird, and, um, Maybe I mess things up. I mean, I'm kind of always worrying that I'm going to mess things up. And, and, and maybe I put too much pressure on things, but I, I just, I wanted to make it up to you. So, I, um... <laughs> oh, shit, 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 no, no. Oh, look, they looked really nice before, and I just wanted them to be a surprise, but I guess they got squashed. Uh, it's okay, they're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is that a laughing at me or a laughing with me? I, I can't really tell. I'm just... Laughing. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I hope you have a vase or something at home. I do. Because they're kind of wilted. Uh, you can cut a bit of the stems off, that way they get more water. See, that, that's the kind of stuff I don't know. I mean, you always know stuff like that. This is so weird. Oh, like, good weird. Good weird. <laughs> good. Oh, uh, oh I, no. sorry, I thought... No, no, it's okay. I have to ask you, some, ask you something. Sure. Okay. Okay, um, what happened at the party? Uh, well, uh, we danced and we... Wait, what do you mean? I don't remember. Okay. Oh, shit! Okay, shit, okay, okay, okay. What? Well, because, um, I, I said something to you at the party that I, like, wanted to say for a really long time, and I just... Shit, okay, okay. Oh. Well, um... I kind of feel stupid now. Oh, don't feel stupid. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to tell you again. I just stop for a second. What's wrong? I just... Okay, okay, um... I went to see my doctor because I wanted to... I just didn't know if you used oh, it. Oh, I, I did, I, of course Just don't, did. don't talk right now, okay? She just kept on asking me questions, and I couldn't really answer, and I think I said something... I don't know. But she sent me to the hospital for an exam, and they called the police. Wait, why would they do that? I don't know. They think someone hurt me. Hurt you? Uh, like, how? I don't remember. Do you understand? No. <laughs> no, I don't really understand. I mean, I can tell that we... But I... I just wanted to tell you that they're going to call your parents. Wait, why? Because of the party I just said. I don't know. I just said that I couldn't remember what happened, but that it was at the party. Oh my god, they... It's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's just that I just... Uh, I guess oh, I had too so, much... So they think that I... Uh, no, no, I didn't say anything about us. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to warn well, you. Are you going to say I... anything about that we... Uh, no, I won't tell them. Of course not. I won't. It's my mom. She's picking me up. I have to go right now. Oh, wait, wait. I can't take those home, okay? I'm sorry. literal actual cops at our house? If I'm going to party jail, I'm taking you all with me. Um, um lol, epic. See in jail party people. OMG, save us from underage drinking. Ah. Amazing. Legendary. Dude, why would you post a video of that? Delete it. Whatever, this is some bullshit. If the police knew about the party, why didn't they come in the night? I don't know. I mean, what did they ask you? They, I mean, they asked me if people were drinking, and I said I didn't know. 
I, I mean, I mean, they, they can't prove it anyway, right? Like, if they're not here to catch it in person, right? I don't like know. Like, if there was a noise complaint, they have to come on the night, so they, they can't get mad now. Ugh. Did you tell Emma that they came here? I already posted the video already. Everyone knows, dude. Chill out. I just, I would never hurt her. Never. I mean, you know that. Hurt her? <laughs> what the fuck, Chris? What are you talking about? What did she tell you? She went to the doctor and they, yeah, what? they called the police. And they said that something, something bad happened at the party and that's why they came here. But anyway, she didn't say anything to you about me and her. Or... Oh my god. No. No, it's just... Shit, Emma. I, I just don't know what to do. I mean, what if they arrest me? Or, or they, it's they... fine. It's going to be fine. Listen, it's just a misunderstanding. She just called to ask me about pregnancy or whatever and I told her to go get checked out if she was worried. Oh. Yeah, she's just nervous because it was her first time. What? And you didn't do anything wrong, and yeah, whatever, you guys not. looked up, and Emma freaked out, and the doctor I... totally overreacted, and no one saw you guys together at the party. Pretty sure. And even if they did, they can't prove anything, or like say you did something bad, what? so like we don't need to freak out. Uh, Chris, like you're doing right now, can you like not do that right can now? Can you just like let me talk for a second? I mean, how about that? Yeah, whatever, sorry, yeah. Okay, what did she say to you? They don't know that we hooked up. They think it was someone else, and they think it was something bad. Well, that's fine. I know Emma. She's not going to say anything. Besides, no one saw you guys together, and even if they try to blame you, everyone knows you're a good guy, and it's not going to stick because nothing bad happened. Right? Right. I mean, do you believe me? Of course I believe you. I'll talk to Emma. It's going to be fine. Okay, uh, just uh, delete the video of the cop car, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to delete that video because we have nothing to hide. Look, Chris, it's going to be okay, I promise, but like... What? Maybe don't let people see you talking to Emma. Dude, it was wild. Okay, so this cop, right? Huge guy comes and knocks on my door. And then the whole time I'm just like, fuck, what am I going to say, you know? And I'm just trying to make a choice about what's believable, right? So he says, was there a party here on Tuesday night? And I'm like... Yes, sir. And he says, was there any alcohol involved? And I'm like, no, sir. I mean, we're all in high school. And, and the whole time, just hoping that the recycling's gone or we're fucked, you know? And, and I know he doesn't believe me, right? But I mean, what's he going to say? So I just keep on nodding and smiling and saying, yes, sir. No, sir. I don't know, sir, until he goes. Yeah, dude, I was sweating, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they're interviewing more people at this school. That's so weird. Emma. Yeah, she's my sister's friend. I kind of know her. Why? The cop said what? Dude, why would they think that? Dude, I don't know anything about that. That's so stupid. Whatever. Um. Okay. okay. What's with the freaky interview? Oh my god, did something like terrible happen and none of us knew? Well, I puked in my shoes. That was pretty bad. No, like actually though. Because that would be fucked up. Well, the cops kept asking me about like girls and stuff. What do you mean? Yeah, what are you talking about? Like if anything weird was going on between guys and girls. Whoa. Oh my god, that's fucked up. Well, I saw a girl talking to the police. Me too. Who? I'm gonna text you about it. Does that mean there's like someone out there? Shit. That's terrible. That's scary. I hope they find him. Me too. Me too. Hey friends. Remember what they taught us in kindergarten. Do unto others as you would do unto yourself. Would you want everyone talking about your private life? Gossip and rumors are for people with nothing better to do. Move on. Do any of you even have lives? Do you have nothing better to do than to gossip about a party that happened a week ago and spread rumors about some shit you didn't even see firsthand? Do you literally have nothing else to talk about? Why don't you all stop being assholes and focus on being actual good people? Is that too hard for you? Hey. Oh my god, hi. I've sent you like a million texts. Yeah, I know. My mom is... Oh my god, yeah. Understandable. So I just couldn't... Are you okay? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you? Like... Uh... What is up, dude? What do you mean? It's just like, I don't know what's going on, and 
and I'm like trying to help and I feel like you're like not there. And, and I don't know how else to tell you that you're like really important to me. So um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And, and ever since you got back from Vancouver, things have been like weird. And, and now with this going on and everything, like I honestly don't want to make it about me. I honestly don't, but just, um, yeah. I know, I'm sorry. I, uh, I guess I've been kind of a shitty friend in a way. No. Well, Not at all. Actually, just... yeah, kind of. Um, I think, yeah, things have been kind of weird. Everything happened so fast, and I feel kind of stuck. It's kind of funny that you say things have been weird since I got back from Vancouver, because actually I had a really shitty time there. Oh, it didn't look like you did. That was the point. What about the bonfire night? I didn't go. My grandma wanted to take me for dinner. So? Well, I wasn't just going to say no. But they were supposed to text me later and tell me which beach they were going to. And? Well, I texted them and they never texted me back. Rude. So I basically just sat there in my room all dressed up to go out, watching everyone post pictures of their fun night, but no one told me where to go. Shit, dude. I guess just for once I didn't want to be the loser who ended up staying at home. I'm so, so sick of it. So I just took a picture of myself, posted it. Who would know? I just thought if it looked like I had this epic summer, it'd feel like I really did. It's stupid. I don't know why I did it. Whoa. So you don't have to worry about me changing or whatever, because maybe I'm just exactly the same as I always was. Well, like, how was I supposed to know? Why, why didn't you just tell me? I just thought maybe... I don't even know. I don't even know what I was thinking. I just wanted to feel like I could... It doesn't even matter. I guess I sounded like an idiot then, being, like, so worried. No, it made me feel like, yeah, like you said, that I'm important to you. I just wish I'd been more respectful of that. I'm sorry I left it so long. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you told me. So, uh, it's just a lot right now. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And now I have to do another police interview. I'm just feeling like I don't want to... I just don't know how much longer I, I, I'm just so scared, Lily. I'm so scared. I just want to make it all go away, but I can't. And I just, I need you, Lily. I know. I'm so sorry this is happening. I know things are like scary and like messed up right now. And, and I don't want to like stress you out or anything, but, but people are starting to figure out that you're the one who went to the police. Oh God. Yeah. And, and the questions are asking the guys. I mean, they're asking them what girls they were with that night. Like everyone knows that they're investigating. Shit. Basically that you said something happened and that there's some like creeper out there and, and it's a scary misunderstanding and it's horrible, but like we can get it under control. You just have to be really careful about what you say. What do you mean? Well, like people don't know you and Chris are a thing. No one saw you guys together, so, so you can just say you didn't know what was. Lily, dude, um, it's okay. I promise. It's just a misunderstanding. Some doctor totally overreacted, but you're the one who knows the truth, and nothing bad happened. But that's not the truth. <laughs> what? I don't know. No. What? I mean, like, what happened wasn't good. Well, uh, if you go in there saying stuff like that, th they're going to get the wrong idea. What does that even mean, the wrong idea? They're going to make it sound like Chris raped you. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, listen to the actual words you're saying right now. Like, are you insane? I mean, like, you're talking about Chris right now. Please don't do this. You, you can't say anything about Chris. You can't tell them anything bad happened. I get to decide. You have to say that you were confused and that everything is fine and then it will go away. <laughs> not for me. What is your problem, Emma? My problem is that I woke up not knowing what happened to me and not remembering anything. And you're being honest with me? What? I mean, you made up this fantasy trip this summer. Fake beach uh, birds. Okay, that's different. Yeah, because this is like so real. Go ahead. Tell the police whatever you want, but don't punish Chris for nothing. You make him sound like he's some violent psychopath when he's not, and everyone knows that. So did you actually talk like No, it's not. It's pretty fucking simple. You went to a party. You danced with him. You kissed him. So yeah, you got too drunk to remember what you did, but you did it. I mean, come on, you know Chris, my brother, you know he's not a monster or a criminal. I don't know oh, that. I'm saying this. Because it's the truth. So we're only doing truths now? Only truths now. Okay. That feeling when you witness true love. She called the cops. She did. She was talking about Chris. She likes him. She always did. Oh my god. She loves him. Oh, it was Chris. She's upset. Her like making out. That doesn't mean anything. 
Why is she getting mad now? WTF is this? You can't just say stuff like that about someone. Yeah, you can't just ruin someone's life. He's a good guy. I don't care. That's so fucked up if it's true. Look, I just don't know why she would want to get him in trouble. We don't know all the facts. Well, someone's lying. Oh, wow. Hashtag me too. Fucking hoe. Wow. Rude. Bitch. Poor Chris. She better watch herself. Do you ever just want to delete? Delete. Delete. Oops. Never mind. My bad. Clean slate. Fresh start. New page. Just me? Me. Me. The real me? Whoever that is. But once you hit send, it's there. It's real. Whatever real means. And you can't take it back? No matter what. Is that really true? All I know is... All I want is... All I need is... To go back... That night... That party... Can I rewrite the story? So there's a party! And everyone shows up! We do some shots! We take some photos! And everyone has fun. We have some drinks. We dance. We talk. I hit the lights. I kiss her in the dark. He tells her something important. I hold her hand. And then that's it. That's all. The end. No. There is no end. Even if I rewrote the story from the beginning, I've probably tried a thousand times. Sitting in class, lying in bed, riding the bus. I'm back there. I'm back in the sweat and the music. His hands on my waist, holding hands in the dark. I'm there at the party, and I think, what if? What if? But there is no end because I always come back and I'm at the hospital or in the principal's office or staring at my phone while a million messages come up on my screen calling me a slut and a liar. You can't rewrite it and there is no end, no matter how much you want it. I wonder what happens next. Maybe the police find the video and they arrest Chris at soccer practice and throw him in jail. Maybe they say they've made a mistake and they let us both go. Maybe nobody believes me, and they call me a liar for the rest of my life. I take one last look at my Snapchat, my Instagram, my TikTok, and delete. Goodbye to the mountains and the ocean and my face dressed up for the party I never went to. Goodbye to the summer at the cottage where I fell in love for the first time. Goodbye to three best friends, sweaty and drunk at a party. Goodbye to the most precious the most private moment of my life, up there for everyone to see. Goodbye. Delete. I can't rewrite my story, but neither can anyone else. It was true when I was too scared to admit it. It was true when no one would listen. My story was always there. My story. The truth. Hey. Sorry I'm late. No, no, it's okay. Uh, I'm kind of lucky. They canceled practice today, so I had the night off. I was glad that you called, you know, that I could. Uh, uh. My dad doesn't really... Lily and I are kind of on lockdown because of the whole party thing. Right. But uh, you're allowed. Sort of. I told my mom I just really needed some time alone. She trusts me, so... That's good. And obviously she doesn't have TikTok or Snapchat or anything, so she won't see the video for like two weeks. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, I've seen it. And what people said. It's really, really fucked up. I don't really care, to be honest. Really? Yeah, somehow, really. Well, I mean, what do you think is gonna happen when the cops find the video and... I have no idea. Look, I hate this. I mean, I really hate this. Yep. Like, right now, I hate everyone at school, and I hate the cops, and the counselors, and I hate myself more than anyone else. I just don't know how we got here. I mean, how everything got so fucked up, and... I, I, I've been thinking about stuff, and about, like, how long I wanted to be with you, and Lily said that you didn't think I liked you. And, and I was like, why? And she said it was because I was acting like a loser around you. I guess Lily's definition of a loser was that I was quiet and stuff, but like... That's because I was trying not to be a loser. You know, I always just imagined... I don't know, that one day we would be alone and I would just have the right thing to say. You know, just out of nowhere. But... I never did, so I never said anything at all. And it was stupid. It was so fucking stupid. And now, like, everyone's looking at this video of the actual best moment of my life and they're judging it and... Okay, it wasn't the best moment of my life, but it should have been. Like, it would have been. Like, any other time, it would have just been the happiest moment in the whole world. Fuck, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just talking. Sorry. Yeah, it would have been really nice. But it can't be now. No. Okay. 
I used to imagine being with you, too. Yeah. I kind of imagined. Oh, it's stupid. No, no, you're never stupid. I had this vision that, like, at the end of the party, after everyone left, there'd be, like, a huge mess. Pineapple under the couch. <laughs> and everyone would just leave, and no one would offer to stay and help, and Lily would be, like, passed out or too lazy to help. Sounds about right. And maybe you'd be all stressed out because your parents were coming home in the morning. But I'd be there to help you. And I'd stay until everything was cleaned up. Until it was really, really early in the morning. We'd be really tired, so we'd just sit on the couch together and then fall asleep. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh, well. No, but it, it still can be. Look, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the, the, the photo and the cops and everything, but like, just now. I mean, we could just sit here and it could be like that just for a second. No, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Look, I love you. What? Uh, I've been in love with you for like a year. I told you at the party. Oh. I mean, you really don't remember anything. I don't! Look, okay, yeah, I know you said that before, but I just yeah, didn't know Yeah, pretty scary! I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Because, because of all this stuff. What the, stuff? I don't know. What stuff, what, what stuff are you talking because about? Because of the video and the... No, no, you know what you, I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You told me you loved me. Okay, but that's not it. That's not Look, it. I'm sorry. Don't say you're sorry. Don't say you're sorry when you don't even know what you're saying. For sorry. everything. For what? For what? Why can't I don't know. You Look, channel. I fucked up, okay? I did fuck up. I fucked up our first time together, but if I'd known you wouldn't have remembered, I wouldn't have done it, so I'm sorry. It's not okay? just What's going on? Go home, Lily. No way. I tried to call you, but you didn't answer, so I just looked, okay? And I saw your car parked in the lobby. Also, you guys are yelling at me. No one is yelling. yelling. Emma, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you'd be here. I, di I didn't know people would, like, freak Look, out. You completely fucked me over, What too. did you think was going to happen? I just thought I'd... I don't know, not that. Well, I just thought people would just be... Why did you I, do it? I just thought that if you were going to the police to say something that, something about Chris, that at least people would know that you were together, that you wanted to be together. What were you going to say? I hadn't decided anything. That's I just... That's not what it sounded like, and I guess I freaked out, but I already deleted it. What were you going to say? It's messed up what people were saying. It's totally messed up. Well, thanks for deleting it, but it's too late. It's been shared like a million times. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't need to hear anyone tell me they're sorry again. It doesn't really help. Well, then, like, what are we supposed to say? It was just a party. I just thought I was doing something good for my best friend and my brother. I mean, like, what the hell is going on? You guys are my best friends. We, we can't be like this. Emma, you're always kind and smart, and you always have the right things to say, and I can't lose that in my life. Please, Emma, I love you, and I was so wrong, and I messed up. Okay, I totally messed up, but I didn't mean to, and I'm sorry, and I can Look, fix calm it. Calm down. Please don't be mad at me. Please, please don't be mad at me. I just wanted us all to just stay together. Just shut up, Lily. Just shut up. Okay. Okay, fine. What were you going to say to the police? I don't know. I don't know what Look, to I, say. I didn't know. I didn't know you wouldn't remember, and it wasn't right, and I had this feeling... But, like, I just wanted to be with you so bad. And, and even after the party, I thought everything would be okay. But now that I know, you really don't remember anything. But th that's not it. I didn't want to have sex. But you didn't want to. I would have said no if I knew what was happening. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I fuck things up. You know, I always fuck things up. Everyone thinks I'm good, but I'm not. Emma. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you even take that video? I, I, I just saw you guys in the hall, and, and, and I was just happy that you were getting I, together. You were there. I just came out to check on you. Why? Because, because you were really drunk. And you just walked away? Stand up, Chris. Stand up! I didn't mean to hurt you. I would never hurt but you. But you did hurt me. No, 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 stand. I mean, we were dancing, and you kissed me. I was so drunk. Me too. Yeah, I kissed you, but I barely remember anything after that. Oh, fuck. I just, I would never... That's not who I am, I would but never- But you did. You did, and I'm the one who- And I don't care if you didn't mean to hurt me, because I hurt so much, and I hurt inside, and out, and now everyone everyone knows about it, and I'm stuck here. Well, just tell me what to do. I mean, tell me how to fix you it. You can't fix it. You can't take it back. This happened. I trusted you. I'm sorry. What does that matter now? What does it matter? It happened. To me. Not to you, not to Lily, to me. And I don't give a shit if you meant to or didn't mean to, and I don't give a shit what everyone else thinks. I know that. I know. 
I know. Even if I'm all alone in that. You're not alone, you're not. I'm here. Emma, I'm here. I'm so sorry. What do we do now? I don't know. In the beginning, it felt like I was underwater, deep below, like when you jump from a diving board. The pressure of the water held me tightly, pressing in on my skin. It was dark, and all I could hear was the roar of the water around me. But I'd forgotten that I could float, and now I'm rushing towards the surface, lungs burning from holding my breath, knowing in just a few seconds I'll make it. There's a temptation to give in, to take that desperate breath my instincts tell me I need. There are days when the pain is so intense, I wonder if it's just easier to breathe in, let the water take me. But I hold on. I hold on. I'm feeling the water loosen its grip, feeling the sun grow hotter as I move closer and closer to the surface. I can almost breathe again. I'm almost there. Before we get to that, oh, great, so now we can nice. actually see you. <laughs> my name is Maria, and I play Lily. Hi, my name is Hillary, and I play Emma. And my name is Caleb, and I play Chris. And we have the wonderful Kelsey, who is backstage right now, um, who made all of the... Okay, <laughs> so if you have any questions, it can be about the play, it can be about acting, about how things work, about our tour. Now is your chance to ask, and make sure to speak loudly through your mask so we can hear you. Okay, in the back, yes. Where do you guys come from? Where do we come from? Great question. So, um, we're, well, Geordie Theater is based in Montreal, but I'm originally from Vancouver. Uh, yeah, uh, now I'm based in Montreal, but I'm originally from Victoria, BC. And I am originally from Alberta, but a small town in Alberta that you probably never heard of. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, right here, yeah. Those pieces in the decor are really awesome, and I like how you use it for different things. But um, do you have any connections and meaning behind them? Okay, so uh, the question is behind the decor. Is there any meaning behind the decor? Um, so, yeah. Can, oh, sure. Um, yeah. So everything on stage was designed by our set and costume designer Deanna, who did um, basically all the designs. Yeah, but she um, she wanted the, the the big screens to look like massive cell phones. And then when we were doing the transitions, the like turning of the screens, it was meant to signify like a change of space. We were kind of going for like we were hoping that the sides of these kind of looked like lockers. I guess was kind of the idea. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you have anything else to add. Yeah, I mean, it was just, yeah, the, like, changing the space where we are. There's in the, within the script, it says sometimes outside or different, and then with the middle screen being projected, and then the idea was that the side screens could ch signify that change of space. Yeah. Great question, though. Yeah, any other questions? Oh, right here. Why did you think that uh, piece of... Why did we choose this piece? Yeah, this piece. Great question. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I can answer to that. So, um, like personally up here, we did not pick the piece as actors. Um, we just auditioned to be in it. Um, Jordy Theater picked this piece back in the spring of 2021, and then um, I think that they wanted to pick it because um, they thought that it was an important show to show right now um, to talk about, start a conversation about consent. 
and specifically because the playwright wrote it so that there's no black or white um, answer to it, that everything in the end is left sort of gray. Yeah. Any other questions? Oh, yeah. right here. How, how long have you guys been acting for? How long have we been acting for? Great question. So I uh, have been acting really since university. Um, I started acting when I was in grade nine in high school. I started acting in like community theater shows when I was six years old. That was the first show I did. So. <laughs> Long time. So you can start acting at any age. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Jordy Productions ends up, uh, well, every time uh, the, you guys show up, the, the, it's a new play. Um, is there like a, a writing workshop? If somebody, for example, were interested in getting into writing, uh, uh, how, how does Jordy go about selecting the plays? And do they write them themselves or do they just oh, commission them yeah. or, or what? Great question. Um, so I believe that all of the plays that, uh, that we've did, like both of these plays that we've done, had already been mounted before. They're Canadian playwrights. Okay. Um, and yeah, the the Paperback Princess, the children's play, was mounted in Winnipeg, and then this one, I believe, was mounted in Vancouver and Toronto um, in 2015. And then Jordy uh, did it this year, and it was uh, made to be TikToks instead of Instagrams, which was the original. Um, yeah, um, I think uh, Jordy does do some like. Uh, workshops of new plays, um, like helping, um, like developing plays be workshopped. I also know that in Montreal, there's like Playwrights Workshop Montreal for like new plays that are in development and that's like, and they have workshops for like emerging writers and that's like a really good way to get into playwriting. Yeah, cool. and yeah, and Playwrights Workshop is actually right yeah, beside, across the, Espas, <laughs> across the hall from Espace Jordy where we rehearse. Yeah. So yeah, but that's where a lot of new plays get uh, Done. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Any other? Oh, right in the back. Yeah. Hi. I don't have a question, just a comment. I really enjoyed your play very much. Thank you for coming to the panel. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And on that note, guys, uh, if anybody wants to stick around and ask a few more questions, if you are a bit too shy, uh, stick around here. Uh, there, you know, we'll. Uh, We'll spend a few minutes. If not, well then we'll we'll see you guys the rest of the week. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people ask me that. I have to help you. Strongly suggested, yeah. yeah. I didn't make it. And I'm my friend. Oh, hi. My name is. Like, she doesn't let anyone call. And then when she knows. But it's always a it's like a little like way to play with words. Instead of a sound, it's a poem. So where are you guys headed now? Yeah, yeah. And when she finds out tomorrow, the first.